Hi everybody, this is your opioid overdose simulation. I'm just going to go ahead and run through the whole skill. So let's get started. Standard precautions, scene safe. The scene is safe. I'm going to go ahead and approach my patient. Sir, sir, can you hear me? Wake up. No sir. response to verbal. Alright, my patient's not responsive to verbal. I'm going to go ahead and give a trap squeeze. No response to pain. My patient is unresponsive. I'm going to go ahead and have my partner call ALS and get an AED. Why I go ahead and assess the patient's pulse and breathing for no less than five seconds, but no greater than 10. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. The patient is breathing slowly with poor chest rise, has a weak carotid pulse, and pale cyanotic skin signs. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and do a head tilt chin lift and assess my patient's airway. Vomit and secretions are occluding the airway. Now I'm going to go ahead and prepare my section. Out the noropharynx are clear. Right. The airway is clear. I'm going to go ahead and secure my patient's airway using an OPA. I'm going to go ahead and measure the OPA with a, from the front teeth to the angle of the jaw. Rotate it 90 degrees. No gag reflex is present. The patient accepts the airway. Right. My patient accepts the airway. I'm going to go ahead and start ventilating my patient. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Ventilate. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. Ventilate. One Ventilations 1, are being properly performed without difficulty. About two minutes have passed. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and reassess my patient's um, pulse and breathing for no less than five seconds, but no greater than ten. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. You find a weak carotid pulse, the patient is still breathing slowly with poor chest rise. Your partners come back from assessing the scene for signs of drug use and has interviewed the family. The family informed you that the patient is addicted to Oxycontin and he was using this morning. Okay, I'm going to go ahead at this point have my partner take over the ventilations while I go get the naloxone. I'm going to go ahead and start by stating the indications of naloxone. So the indications are, my patient has um, pinpoint pupils, his respiratory rate is less than 12, he has pale and cyanotic skins, there are no contraindications. I do have a standing order in the San Diego County to administer naloxone to this patient, and now I'm going to go ahead and do my five rights. So this is the right patient, this is the right medication, this is naloxone. The route is going to be IN, intranasal, I'm going to go ahead and administer the dose, which is two milligrams, so one milligram in each, each nostril, and it is not expired. So this medication expires in 2021, so it's good. So now I'm going to go ahead and administer one milligram in each nostril. There is one, and then the other one, there's another. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue ventilating my patient. I'm going to attach the BBM to oxygen at 15 liters per minute and then crack open the tank, and then continue ventilations. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. So tell me a little 1, bit about your reassessment. So I'm going to go ahead and reassess my patient. I'm going to check, recheck his pulse and breathing, and after the naloxone, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that his breathing increased 